got a little bit of noise coming from something on the front end very very small amount of noise um, I think it's these idler wheels on there and then there's a, a ribbed one there this is a smooth one this is a ribbed so this works on the back of the belt smooth side that works on the front the ribbed side I've also got a tensioner as well I don't think I've ever replaced the tensioner it seems fine but they're quite cheap so I'm going to replace those So that bully is noisy. That sounds like my noise. And there's also a bit of free play. The other pulley doesn't spin too freely. It's not noisy and there is no play. I don't think there's anything wrong with the bottom one, but I'll replace it. So 13 millimeter. Up there. Pulling off. The little tiny sign maybe of some problems with the rubber. No, it's not. feel I could feel graunching through my fingers though very slight but so that's a 10 millimeter for the tensioner so 10 mil <coughs> I'm about for the tension there. Tension that comes away. So it doesn't seem to do anything wrong with the tension that I'm probably pointlessly replacing that, but uh, I've got one, so now. Yeah. I have two tensioners both motorcraft, um, one's for the SV, one's for the 260, but I can't remember which is which at the moment, so hopefully there'll be some part numbers. So yeah, so I've got two W7E6B209, the same there. I've got AB, AA. That looks like the one to me. 1169 there and 100 0 0 1 1 there. I'm sure that's the one. Right, I'm going to put some copper slip on this. It's not really any corrosion, but I do like to put some on. I know it could come loose but I'm going to put some on. Just putting a little bit on the tip and 
hopefully it'll work its way through. So on the tensioner there's a there's a raised boss part which fits in the hole so you can't get it around the wrong way and it can't spin. Actually before I do that let's move the other tensioner. That's another 13 mil. That's the pulley off. Yeah, it's a bit stiff, but there's a bit of resistance, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like I said, I'll replace it. So that should be this one, that part number. Motorcraft, I always use motorcraft to paint. They're the best parts. Boss is clean. I didn't do it before and after. I should have had the engine running so that you could hear the difference. If it makes a difference, I'm sure it will. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's put the tensioner back on. Too. Shouldn't be making silly noises. Alright, so there's the old smooth pulley. Let the bolt off. And if I've got the right thing, should be that. The SKF for somebody ideally, but no. Right, I won't put any on this. So. Again, onto the boss. The boss is clean. I'm not going to do the click. 
Right, so if we put the breaker bar back on with a 3 8 drive, the 3 8 adapter. And we can pull it back to release the tension. by the decibels, by the frequency. Let's follow up. Okay, now the fans kicked off. Smoother. It's that awful ticking. I don't know if the cameras pick up the slight ticking. This car has always had that from when I got it, it was nearly new. I think they all do it 